What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back and we're straight in here with another typical battle Metal Gear style and little Timmy gets taken out by a little one two there and Jackie O'Collins down here gets taken out by an aerial attack with oh what a slam to the face there Billy Bob J Billy Bob got taken out by another slash attack to the face What's this? Gary can't block. He can't block. He can't take anything. He's getting hits left, right, and center from Raiden. Oh my god, it's an epic battle on all fronts. They've got two swords. Raiden's got one. He's got one in his pants, but that doesn't count. He can't get that out because it's contained in about 10 inches of metal. Oh my god, look at that downward slash from, uh, from Raiden there. And another enemy just randomly popped out of nowhere. As if he's been there the whole time under some camouflage illusion. Sorry guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've just kind of gone off on some crazy tangent. But yeah, welcome to the video. This is part six, I do you believe? Welcome. Is it over? For now, yeah. But that room, those were cyborg brain casings. Duh, we saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes, this must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus, are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait, the cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Someone's touching kids. No, not good in any circumstance. Never, ever, ever, ever good. Come on, Raiden, we've got to stop this. Find the dwarf gecko. A oh, sweet trap hard. From being annoyed to being the annoying one. This should be pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So no riding around. Ah, splendid it is all ours. Thank you, old German man. Any funny business? And they might just open five. Okay. They seem to be on a pretty easy pattern. Pattern, pattern, pattern. Easy, so easy. Please don't tell me I gotta do six levels in this thing. It's good, don't get me wrong, but I don't wanna do six levels of it. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Right, so by the time this video's gone up, I'm presuming that most of you guys who are watching this might even have the game by now. Uh, Please leave some comments and stuff, because it'd be great to hear from you. I love reading the comments. As a YouTuber, always checking the videos, checking the stats, going to my inbox, seeing if there's any any love, any love going on. Uh, right, where's these things we'll get? Yeah, so please send a comment. Let us know if you like the videos or anything about the game, where you're at, what you find difficult. The best boss. The best boss will be pretty good, because I haven't got that far yet. Well, I have secretly, but you don't know that. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Is there any more enemies around here? Let's find out. Don't actually use the third leg, do you? <laughs> well, I do, but that's a different story. All right, stealth this guy. Sounds like a otter. Other woodland creatures are available. Alright, so what do we do now? There's another enemy dot up here somewhere. Ah, he's up there. Did you see him? I might do some editing to show you, but... I probably won't have time because I'm going for the speed of uploads. Right, come on. But right, I'm either going to do this first time. Yes! Oh, so lucky. So lucky. I thought I'm either going to do that first time or that's going to take me about 20 minutes to 
constantly keep jumping up there. But that should be it. I'm guessing that Raiden has to come back through this bit. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been in, like, secret locations. Probably stops you getting alerts or something. I don't know. Alright, we're in. C? That's weak. I've done everything perfectly. How could I get a C for that? Ha! <laughs> ah, the comical value. Trying to put your USB in the wrong way. I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. Then send us what you do have. You've already commenced the art plan. The Sears program? Sending one old Georgie boy used on the kids in Liberia. Of course, it's right straight to the brain now. Feels as real as anything else. Your work is astonishing. And your work is late. We need to sit before our cover is blown. We've got some assholes snooping around. We just do not have the full quantity yet. Each brain has its own unique requirements. It's not like we can just pop them out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> All right. Make your point. Oh, <laughs> thank you for understanding. Say what you have now. I'll destroy any unharvested inventory. Okay? But have you any idea what they cost? Last I checked, children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. Yes, you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory in the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Tecumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. He definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. Oh no, even Raiden's going after their kids now. Oh, it's not good. It's not good, kids. I might as well use these guys for their spines. Get a few extra points while I'm at it. While I'm at it. I don't know if you guys saw my Blast Off's video that he put up about uh, the zombie encyclopedia. Or he left two ideas in the comments and he asked for you guys to like whatever idea you thought was best. He also mentioned the giveaway that we're doing for uh, Metal Gear, this game that you are indeed watching now. So if you haven't got the money for the game or maybe you just want a, a foxy treat from the from the guys at the SFF. But enough about that for now. Let's uh, let's throw out a random question. Um, let's see. Right, what was the first game you ever owned? The first game you ever owned? Leave it in the comments. Um, whoever gets the most thumbs up will get a uh, gamer tag shout out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, what is your favourite game? Um, your, not your favourite, your first. God, I can't remember mine. What must it have been? Probably Duck Hunt or something like that. If any of you guys remember, you got to give a thumb up for Duck Hunt. Legendary game. Legendary. Bad news, Raiden. We can't find George. 
What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. How about when I'm finished slicing all these people up that I take you out for a drink there, little lady? I wish Ryden was like a, a smooth 60s porn star. <laughs> That'd be a good outfit. Ryden smooth 60s porn star outfit. Right, what's going on here? Ah, decent enemy time. Right, come on. But you know what? I'm just going to attack you. Usually I go for tactics, but I'm going to go hell for leather with the aid of some grenades. EM grenades? Jam grenades. It looks like it's using infrared, so... Right, this creates a screen that impairs the infrared sensors. So this should stop me getting hit by the... Uh... Getting... <laughs> About to say, stop me getting hit by the missiles, but they hit me anyway. He's got a, quite a slow underarm. Right, this is pretty easy. Keep hitting him when he does that block. You can parry that pretty easily. Right, that's that bit done. Cool, all good. Right, now he's going to turn into beast mode. Or as they call it, battle mode. Same thing. Right, let's go for missiles. Go on the offensive. Alright. He means business. If he wants business, we'll give him some business. Right, new enemies means I've got to watch out for some random attacks. That's pretty straightforward. I'm sure he's got something else up his sleeve, though. That uh, rising kick move is sky high, if you didn't know. That's pretty good. That's just double up and square. On certain enemies, it's pretty good. It will, like, um, juggle them. And it works on quite a few of the... The harder enemies, like the harder cyborg enemies. So that's a pretty one, good one to watch out for. I mean, I think you can't juggle the gorilla type ones. I can't remember their names. I'm useless at names. Ah, there we go. Couldn't block that one. Oh well, can block these ones. Not too bad. Come on, your health is going down. See how handy that dash attack move is. Can't remember what that's called. How helpful. But yes, you know the move, that one. The double up and triangle. So good for closing the distance. Come on, you got to go down pretty soon. 13%. <laughs> Dodge that missile. Right, you're down, boy. That's it. Done. Not too difficult. you got a good few hits in, though. Give him that. I will give him that. you got a good few hits in. He's no match for us. What do we get? A. Decent. I'm happy with that. Right it. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal, one of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest, ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshal and Desperado in bed together. <laughs> Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters, for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. 
I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin out! Jesus, 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 Kevin, Kevin out! Please somebody remix that. Might even do it myself. Okay, so we've got to find the uh, random Hispanic kid, as I call him. Probably not Hispanic, don't know. Where is he? Where is he? Right, stick to my trusty EM grenades. There's some dude around the corner. Ah. Two dudes. Oh, what? Fail. Never mind. Never mind. Take that. That is so beast, that move. Have you got enough time to charge it up? It's perfectly partnered with them EM grenades. Throw one and then waiting for the stun. Use the EIE. What's I called it? Oh, he's down. Alright, let's check behind us. Down this way, probably something down there. Yeah, chest. Oh, you little beauty. Thank you very much, chest. Artificial blood cryo preserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. Right, I feel the cutscene coming on, guys. So I'll say thank you for watching the video. Please leave your love in the comment box and send us some messages and give some likes and do all that stuff. It really means a lot. Thank you, and I'll speak to you soon. George! Right in! You've heard of chloroform? A potent anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? <laughs> and adios, muchachos! <laughs> Glass, and I'll blow his brains out. <sighs> Surrender or decide the needs of the many or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo. <laughs> Surrender. I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting, what if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Cállate!